Thanks for joining us. We're starting with breaking news. The Maricopa County Sheriff's Office is looking for additional victims right now after they arrest a man they describe as a serial rapist in the North Phoenix area. So far, they say they've uncovered at least four victims. Team 12's Bianca Bono is live in the area of 19th Avenue and Northern with the disturbing details. Bianca. And guys, this is the area MCSO says the suspect would look for his victims. They say he would intentionally target vulnerable women, in particular those who were homeless or dealing with some kind of mental illness. Now here's a look at the suspect, Robert Incorvaya. And what he's accused of doing to these women is too disturbing to share with you on television. But officials say the 51-year-old suspect would offer these women work or shelter, sometimes drugs. He would then drive them to a property he owned in the New River area. And according to court documents, that's where he would rape them. In some cases, documents say he would then tie the women up and physically abuse them before ultimately letting them go. MCSO says they've been investigating this case since February, and since then, they've discovered at least four victims, but believe there are more out there. A population that does not get enough consideration and care <clears throat> oftentimes are those who are either um, in unstable housing circumstances or living homeless, and those who are mentally ill or have some challenge relative to their um, mental stability. And documents say when Incorvaya was interviewed, he told detectives his nickname is Rob the Rapist, and many in this area are familiar with him. Incorvaya is now facing charges of kidnapping and sexual assault, and according to records, he owns a dental company called Smile Bright. He's currently being held on a cash-only bond of $100,000. We're live in Phoenix, Bianca Bono, 12 News. All right, Bianca, thank you.